Hello everybody. This is the circuit I'm using today. A new little bedini I put together. This unit is a little bit unique. So I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. This is the uh, bifiler coil. It's got 250 feet of 22 on it, and 250 feet of 26 gauge wire on it. I'm using coat hanger cores that I cut glued in there, hammered in. <laughs> Over here on my secondary coil, I have a straight wound coil with number 23 on it. This is straight wound coil, air core. And over here, I have a little coil that I salvaged out of uh, one of these shake flashlights. If it didn't work, it wouldn't hold the charge, but the coil's in good condition. So I salvaged it and uh, moved a little block on the back of it, so I had terminal place to put my terminal. Works quite well. Now, what's unique about this is that on the bifiler here, I'm only using the drive coil. I'm not using the trigger coil at all. I don't have it hooked up right here. What I've done is I've taken this little coil that I salvaged out of that flashlight, and I'm using it for a trigger coil, and I have it hooked to the trigger terminals over here. And as you can see, it's working quite well. It's running about uh, 2,000 RPM right now. I have it charging a 18 volt battery out of my Makita drill. And it seems to be doing a fairly good job. I'm going to get back here a little farther so we can see a little bit more of the unit. What I did is I went and I found a couple of, actually I found three old hard drives that I picked up for two bucks a piece. And I got the bearing assemblies out of them and they really work quite well. Here's one here that I uh, stuck together, haven't hooked anything to it yet, but you can't hear them run at all. <laughs> they really work well. I took the uh, disc off of them, the CD disc, and rigged up a wooden block to fit on there. And then that way I can uh, just screw my magnets right in there and I don't have to worry about them flying off. Okay. Back here I've got this one running. It's running off of a schoolgirl circuit back there and it's charging this battery here. I'm using this guy here for a run battery. Over here I'm using uh, my uh, solar power system. I get 12 volts off of it and run it through this regulator to run to run uh, this one here. My panel will have mounted up on the side of the house. I don't know if you can see them or not. The sun's pretty bright. <laughs> But they're really putting out good. I have uh, in the closet here, I have my battery box right here. Right there. <laughs> Inside of it, I have, you can see these three deep cycle marine batteries. 12 volters. On top here I have a 2000 uh, watt uh, inverter. It works very well. Very good indeed. I took my box and I vented it through the roof so I wouldn't accumulate any gas inside of that box. Maybe enough about that. I just thought it was kind of unique that I was able to uh, run this with a separate trigger. <laughs> I uh, put the uh, trigger and the uh, drive coil in parallel here. I don't have them set up that way right now. It increases the speed considerably. It works quite well. I'll be putting another one together pretty soon. I'm going to make a 
uh, four transistor unit. See what I can come up with. I guess that's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching.